Oh hey, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna make a little tank animation in Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects. I'm not gonna spend too much time on the design, but I just wanna show some quick tips and tricks on how you can actually animate this. So let's just jump into it. So in Illustrator, we need uh, two documents. One will be 1920 by 1080 pixels. This will be for the tank design. And we're gonna make a, another document that will be a lot wider. Let's do this times four. And this will be for the background. So let's start with that. Let's create a simple road. Let's make this grayish. Something like this. And let's make a background. Uh, you can create some simple rocks or stuff like that. So I'm just gonna use the pen tool and draw something really quick. Nothing too fancy. Move it to the back, so hold Command Shift and the left bracket. And change the color to something you like. All right, so I'm just gonna duplicate this layer. Command V and Command F. And just move it a little bit. Move it to the back. And I'm just gonna make this a little darker. Now you get some depth in your uh, in your Rocky Mountains. So save this file and name it background. And now let's head over to the other document and let's start to create a tank design. Like I said, I won't spend too much time on this. So um, this is gonna be for the wheels. And now let's just draw a tank. Again, I'm using the pen tool. And now for the top part. Right, of course we also need to create a turret. So now I'm using the scale tool, so select these two points. I think it should be the other way around actually. And now for the front part of the turret, we can do pretty much the same. So I'm just gonna draw a square. And again, select these two points, hit S and pull them together. Kill them a little bit. All right, now we can change the colors a little bit. Oh, but we're gonna change this in After Effects anyways, but just to get it right. Now we could create a wheel. And I'm just gonna make one and I'm just gonna duplicate them in After Effects, so. Uh, just a circle and another one over here. I'm gonna make that one a little darker and This will be a part that moves around so you get a feeling of it actually moving So now we have some basic elements and now I think it's time to head over to After Effects All right, so I'm in After Effects. I already made a new composition and just start by importing the background image so there's our background image, just drag it over here. There it is. And now just move it, make sure to hold shift. Like so. And now we can just change the position. So I'll make a keyframe at the start. And then at the end, I'm just gonna go for 20 seconds. Create another one and just move it. Drag it to the left. And now we have a background that moves around. If you want to spice it up, you could make another file with just the uh, rocks at the back and make them move a little slower. That way you get a more 3D uh, feeling, I guess. 
All right, so now the background is finished. Now we can start working on the tank itself. So start by creating a new shape layer. Use the drop down menu, go to contents and just draw a random path. And now select the path, go to illustrator and select this line, hit command C, go back to after effects and hit command V and make sure to delete the masks. You won't be needing those. So now we have our path and now go over to the stroke menu and you want to go to dashes and hit the plus button. Make this a little bigger. I want some round caps press this plus button one more time so we have a gap and now we can change the distance between these dashes and now in order to move it around we're gonna create key frames for the offset so set one at the beginning and one at 20 seconds or whatever you like and just play around with this that already looks pretty cool but you see there's some problem here uh, let's see if we can fix that yeah that already looks better maybe it's a little too big so I'm gonna set it to 18 for now. And there it looks perfect. I think we also need a background. So again, I have to copy this path. Command C, go to After Effects, create a new solid, press OK and hit Command V. Move this below the shape layer. And now we have a background. If you wanna change the color, hit Command Shift Y and over here you can change the solid color. Like I said, the design is gonna look weird, but I just wanna show you how you can actually make this moving tank. So uh, please don't judge me on that. Just gonna move this down for now. Make sure it's on the road. Well, now let's start working on the wheels. Select the circle and make sure to check the dimensions. So this is 66 by 66 pixels. Select it, go to After Effects, make a new composition. I'm just gonna call this wheels. And yeah, just gonna go for 70 by 70 pixels. Again, create a new solid, uh, pick a color you like. Hit Command V. Go back to Illustrator and select the other circle. Go to After Effects, New, Solid, and again hit Command V. Of course this has to be a little darker, so just change the color. And I'm just gonna move it off the center. Now go back to the main composition and just import this wheel composition. Let's put it over here. And of course we want to rotate this. So go to transform, create a keyframe at the start and again at 20 seconds. And just spin it around. Or of course you can also just type in the amount of time it has to spin around. That looks pretty slick. So now we can just duplicate it a few times and we're gonna move these wheels, so I'm gonna hit shift and my arrow to move it. You actually don't have to do this manually, you can also just select all of these compositions and go to align and just press this button. Make sure selection is on and it will align them within the first and the last uh, composition. 
So now our wheels are turning, but I can imagine you want to have some offset in these uh, wheels. So just play around with that. Again, go to rotation, of any composition really. And I'm gonna just change this to 20. Go to the last keyframe and add 20 on this one. And you can do this for every composition. All right, that should be fine for now. So now let's start working on the top part. Again, go to Illustrator, select this part, hit Command C, go to After Effects, create a new solid, hit Command V, and move it to a spot you like. I wanna make sure it's below the wheel, so just move it like so. And now select the top part. Again, create a new solid. Hit Command V. Gonna make it a little darker. Press OK. And just move this. And again, I'm gonna move this to the back. Now onto the turret. I'm actually gonna merge these two parts. So I'm gonna use the Pathfinder Click on this button and now it's just one part. So hit Command C, go to After Effects, New Solid. And voila, there's the turret. Move it to the back and there it is. Now we already have a tank that moves around. Uh, like I said, the design looks like crap but all of the essentials are there. If you wanna make this more bumpy, of course you can play around with the position, but you would have to pre-compose some parts. Let's say we're just gonna select all of the layers of the wheels, select them and hit pre-compose wheels. And we can play around with the position. Maybe we want it to go up a little bit. And then we want it to go back to its original position. Hold Command and Shift and hit the right arrow. Hit Command V to paste the first keyframe. And you can repeat this process. There it goes. Of course, you can also easy ease these keyframes. Looks a little smoother. If you want the rest of the tank to do the same, you could use the uh, pick whip to uh, connect these two layers. So select the pick whip of position of the uh, tank part and drag it over to the position of the wheels. And as you can see now, it kind of moves the same, um, but the position is wrong. So I'm just gonna move the anchor point, move it down a little bit. And there we go. Now for the top part, you could do the same, but you could also make something that looks a little different. So I'm gonna start by copying the keyframe from the wheels. And then I'm just gonna change this. So 335 instead of 31. And we have to copy it to every other keyframe. Delete this, paste it, skip this one, change this one. And of course, again, the position is all wrong, so you can use the anchor point to uh, move it around a little bit. Maybe you want to connect the turret to the top part or to this part, I don't know, whatever works for you. So again, we can use the pick whip to connect it. And 
again now the position is all off so use the anchor point to change it voila there we go so that's pretty much it but like I said the design doesn't look great the movement isn't perfect but I just want to show some basics on how you could design something in Illustrator and how you can animate it in After Effects. I hope some of these tools like the dash line and the way I connect certain compositions helps you guys to uh, create your own stuff. Um, if you have any questions, please drop a comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.